Hey guys, Punisher here, and I wanted to show you something uh, that I think will be really helpful to give you some flexibility in your audio, and that is virtual audio cable. Okay, so what is virtual audio cable? Well, simply, it's just a really, it's just a piece of software that acts as if it's a physical cable that you're plugging between two devices, one being your computer and the other being anything like a, uh, you know, an iPod, your your mobile phone that you use for audio, whatever. Okay, but VAC is a great thing. Now, what do you need to do? Well, all you need to do, I use VB-Audio's version of VAC. There are other companies that have it out there. Uh, I recommend you use this one. They are quality, and you're not going to find them find a better option out there. So what do you need to do? Go to Audio Apps right here. Click on that. All right, so you got the Virtual Audio tab highlighted. And what you need to do is you need to come down here, and you can download uh, a Virtual Audio cable right here. If you donate, which you can donate as little as a dollar, if you donate, then you'll get two more links. So you can download uh, VAC A and VAC B. Okay, so you get a total of three virtual audio cables if you donate. It's a great thing. All right, so what I've done is I have my cables installed. But what you need to do, I've made a file in program files here to I've, where I've extracted these zip files. Uh, they come in as zip files. And then all you need to do is extract them to a folder, and then go to uh, whatever setup. Now I'm using X, uh, you know, 64-bit. But you right-click on that, and then you run this as administrator. Okay. And what's it going to do? It's going to bring up. Now this says remove driver because I've already installed it. Okay. But if you had, you know, if these were fresh, you hadn't installed them yet, then you should have install driver right here. So if you install driver, it takes literally like a second or two. And it'll tell you that installation is complete. You may need to restart your computer. Okay. I personally don't need to. It, it installs it and it works fine without me doing it. But what you can do is you can check and you can go down here to your playback devices. All right. And they should show up here. And there you go. There's cable A, there's cable B, and this is the original one right here. This says speakers. Okay. So you got this. It's playback devices. They're also record devices, which there you are. Okay. So you got that. Now, what can you do with virtual audio cable? I use them to patch a couple different pieces of software. First, I like to use Discord. And Discord, you can go, and this is my 10 comms that I use for playing my games. And I can go into voice, and I can change the input to one of these cables. So I have mine set to cable B right now, and that is there. Now, once you have that set to cable B, your playback audio, the people that are talking in Discord will feed out to whatever you have sourced on the other end of your virtual audio cable. For instance, you can take OBS. Uh, let's see, let me bring up OBS Studio. I'll show you how to do that. So now I have a uh, sources here I can go and I can add, and I think it's audio input device. I'm pretty positive. So let's go ahead and I'll just do that. Let's see. Yep, so here is cable B output. Remember, the output is going to be where the, the data is coming out of the cable. Okay, the input is going to be where the device is sending the data into the cable, and that's how you gotta look at it. Okay, so I want the output because that's where the data is coming from. Okay, so now I have a dedicated audio source, and I could rename this if I want to. Um, let's see, let's call it VAC, or actually Team Comms. There you go. Now you have team comms in here, and you can uh, have the you know your dedicated slider that can you can control volume right inside of OBS, and that's good. And so that is one way to do it. You can also use it for music. Say you have a uh, Windows Media Player, Spotify. You use uh, you know VLC Media Player where you can go and you can change the source and that then you have that ability to be able to send a dedicated music channel and you do the same thing in OBS like I just did, you know, just showed you there before. Same steps. And uh, now then you would have a dedicated music stream going to your OBS live stream. So VACs are great. I love them. And uh, make sure you go to vb-audio.com to download them. They will work great. I don't have to go in and change any of the settings. Uh, the default settings work fine for me. If you're getting some clicking, some bitrate errors, you may need to go and adjust latency. You may need to adjust the uh, sample rate to match what you have set in Windows for your sound card. 
uh, but I've been fortunate I don't have to go and change anything and they work just fine and they give me a good clean audio signal so guys that is it I hope uh, you like the video if you did give me a you know a thumbs up on there and subscribe to the channel I'd appreciate it guys thank you and have a great weekend we'll see you later bye bye